Hello everyone. This is Burhan from and uh, I, uh, as you know I'm the creator of Lightbulb this new channel. And today I'm uh, this is my first video on YouTube and today I'm going to make a DIY Bluetooth USB micro SD card and auxiliary amplifier. And I hope this helps you in like this project helps you in the future. Now what you need, uh, you need a LM7805 12 to 5 volt voltage regulator. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done. This is the voltage regulator which is wired to this DC female jack. And this male jack is directly connected to this DC female jack which gives it the input voltage which is coming right from here, not converter or something. And this is the output which will go uh, which is a 5 volt output and this output uh, the jack will go to this mp3 and fm uh, and usb sound card what they say so you can see that there's a tiny antenna for bluetooth and it has a cable for you to connect mic which i'm not going to be using though this is the usb power this is the right and left in like it's just aux but with a different connector and this is the main connector which gives the audio out and this is the antenna for the microphone now what i've done is i've read there are three outputs like you know one is ground the middle one is ground in these and this is the left this is the right this one left this is right and uh, these are wired directly to this headphone jack and the male 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and if you're lucky, I don't know if uh, like get it with all of them, but you will also get a nice little remote, which I think looks cute. And uh, for for the power supply, you need this 12 volt 3 amp adapter, which I already had laying around. This wire cutter, which helps me in stripping wires. You can also use a wire stripper though, which is easier. And a set of tools. I mean, uh, screwdrivers. <laughs> Now move and now moving to the speaker part. This is actually pretty easy. You can use any of your old speakers. I had four of them, even though there are not four outputs on this. I've just wired two speakers with each other, so that you know, like, there it gives out like a hundred watts output maximum. So I thought maybe I won't blow the speakers in this way. Now this is a PAM eight six ten amplifier. The PAM eight six ten maybe you're familiar with it. This is its volume adjusting um, potentiometer, LED, uh, the on off switch, which is just a jumper actually, a mute switch, a heat sink for uh, like quickly finishing the heat on the PM8610 chip, which is actually a pretty good thing. The outputs, the input power, the DC jack. And of course, the 3.5 millimeter audio input. Now I have wired the outputs to the this uh, screw terminal, and as you can see, the, the minus thing, uh, the minus terminals, they're connected over here, and the other minus terminal over here, and the, these are the positive uh, positive terminals. <laughs> Now I had uh, a lot of, you know, speakers laying around, so I thought, M why not use them? And I really didn't have any use for them. So these are the Zoltrix ZX75, and I pulled out the amplifier boards. So they, they, this is just a, basically speaker and tweeter. So let's get started. And of course, all of you may have a soldering iron. I mean, I do. This is how I've made this converted. And if you search online, you can get a diagram, but I'll show you a quick diagram of how to make it. Just need to buy an LM7805 voltage regulator, ask the person, or just buy it online on Amazon. So this is the 12 volt input. This one over here, the middle one, is the uh, ground, all ground. And this one on the left is the 5 volt output. So I hope that makes you understand. And this I've already showed you in the starting. 
it has a USB, Bluetooth, micro SD card, auxiliary, and FM radio. So now you can understand it's actually pretty modular, so you don't have to spend a lot of time in making it. You can make uh, your area organized if you have a 3D printer, and you can make an enclosure for your amplifier. But now I was going to use my hot glue gun, uh, but I don't have hot glue gun sticks, so I can't stick it over here or something. But I'll show you how I wanted to make it. So I would stick the amplifier here, the uh, sound card over here. I don't know why they call it sound card, though it's not like some sort of PCI card. So I'll plug in the like Bluetooth modules output like this in the input of the PAM 8610 amplifier and you have to get uh, put, uh, give both of these things the power input which I have already showed you I've made this converter oh, yeah I forgot to tell you and this is for the amplifier you know it's directly over here because the amplifier sucks up 3 amps and 12 volts which is actually pretty good for me I don't have to buy more converters and more circuitry or stuff Okay, I know I haven't used proper tape or something, you know, like glue to properly insulate them. So, I don't do this like how I've done it. And yeah, for everyone, I don't think you really need a mute switch. I'll tell you why. Because this one already has a mute. So, I use it. And yeah, I don't really have a space to utilize it. So, I'm just going to pop it in here. And we're going to connect the power input done and i think that is f it for the amplifier yeah, make sure to wire the speakers with the correct pol polarity so that the uh capacitor with the tweeter inside it doesn't blow up with reverse polarity or something i don't know if that's gonna happen because i mean it's low power so maybe you know other people know better than me i don't know that much so yeah let's try all of these speakers Okay, so I've connected this adapter, the 12 volt adapter over here with this extension I made. And let's plug it in and see how it will work. Okay, turned on, but it's making a weird noise. Bluetooth mode. Oh, wait. I don't know why it's making it. I'm sorry, people. Oh, wait. I didn't plug it. The headphone jack in properly. Still making a weird noise. Sorry, I think you people can solve it. I'm not really a genius in this. Yeah, I think it's because of the AC voltage interfering with the output. Yeah, I need an enclosed, uh, you know, place to mount this all and give it an enclosure. Otherwise, this will actually problem be problematic. Yep, this definitely doesn't look good. So yeah, if you anybody can solve it, please put it down in the comments, and I will see if it works. Now, let's power up my phone and see if. I can play some music. Hmm. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth. And gonna go to Bluetooth and search for the name of the device. Now, for my case, it's the BT. 6201 6s3 6 yeah we're gonna connect to it and you can hear the voice right away now i'm gonna lower uh, lower the volume because my volume is seriously a lot yeah i think it's it, this voice is because of the interference of the ac voltage so sorry for that really sorry but let's try some music by marshmallow oh, yeah Make sure to check his channel, he's really good. Oh yeah, 
Now these are pretty loud. These are pretty loud actually. Nice. So they work. I think the interference goes when you play the song. Yeah, this works pretty good. So about the other features, I think you can check out the USB because I don't have a USB on SD card laying around. I know the aux works and the FM radio, but the FM radio is too loud and there's not much signal here. So I'm not going to try it. And hope you like this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and at least let me reach one, yeah, 50 subs. You know, the, like one sub is also a great achievement for me. And I hope this helped you. So see you all in the next one. And bye.